Hey guys, what's up? This is Phil back with another lesson in the After Effects course. In the past few lessons, we've been talking about how to create masks using the mask tool and the pen tool. Today, I want to talk about learning how to animate these masks and create some cool motion effects with them. So let's get right into it. So as you remember, last time we were learning about how you use creating a new solid to create a mask. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's create a nice blue solid right here like this. We got the same size of our composition, and that's perfect. Now I'm going to take my rectangle tool, and I'll just use that for an example. And say we want to create some sort of uh, bar that goes across the screen. Well, first we have to create that bar, so I'm just going to click and drag with the shape tool to create this mask. I'll do it about to there. As you can see here down in the timeline, the mask pops up. So now we have a mask that we can edit. Like we said before, you can edit this by using these transfer modes. You know, you can have it add or subtract, but today we're going to keep it at add. By pressing MM on your keyboard, you get these mask properties that pop up. First, we want to make sure we click our mask, and then we want to go to one second. So if, say this is our final bar right here. This is the, the size of the bar at the final point of the animation. So we're going to click the stopwatch next to mask path. So I'm going to click that, and that cre creates a keyframe at one second. I'm going to go back to about a quarter of a second, and now I'm going to edit this mask. The way I'm going to do this is going to use the selection tool and I'm going to double click the edge of the mask and this brings up this sort of uh, these editing options, this bar around, this box around the mask that we can edit. I'm just going to click the middle of this box on the right and move it all the way to the left. And so now our mask basically grows into this bar. So let's render it out and see what it looks like. So that's looking pretty good. What I want to do is add a blur, motion blur effect so that it looks a little bit more natural as it's coming out. And maybe even increase the speed a little bit. So maybe I'll move this first keyframe to about half a second. So the entire animation takes half a second rather than three quarters of a second. And something that, like that looks really nice. And then from here, you know, you can animate some text on, make some text text fade on or off or something like that and that is one example of how you would animate a mask let's do another example so let's start a new layer so I press command Y on my keyboard for the hot key for that option we'll do a nice magenta pink circle so I'm going to get my circle selection ellipse tool I'm going to click in the middle and while holding command and shift, drag out. And now I have a perfect circle coming in from the center of my composition. So now we have this circle. This time I want to animate the mask, but animate using the mask expansion function. So I'm going to go to one second, click the stopwatch to set a keyframe for there, and then go back to about half a second. And then I'm going to decrease the mask expansion. As you can see, as I decrease the pixels, the, the circle gets smaller and smaller. So there I have a circle popping up into our composition. And this one maybe make a little bit faster as well. Add motion blur to make it look a little bit more natural. Now we have this cool circle happening. And then remember last a few lessons ago I was talking about adding a little bit of bounce to your animations which creates a little bit more flow and makes it you know feel a little bit more natural uh, we can do that so our final mask expansion point for this keyframe as you can see is zero pixels we want to make it a little bit larger so we're going to make it about 15 pixels or we'll try 25 pixels about two frames in front of our last keyframe now we'll render this out and this circle kind of bounces in. So now I'm going to edit this keyframe uh, using Keyframe Assistant and add Easy Ease. 
Oops, let's do easy ease. And this is kind of what we were doing um, when we were playing with the size uh, animations in the size, the size animations lesson. But this way we're doing it with masks. So now we have this nice circle bouncing in. And again, you know, this will be part of another animation. You can add text going across or something like that, or add more balls popping up. Um, you could use this mask as an image, and that's something that we haven't talked about yet. So, you know, mask shapes aren't just for doing solid colors. Say you have an image, so let's say this brick wall, but we want a ball in the form of a brick wall. So we select our ellipse tool, and then we just click and drag, and holding shift to get a perfect circle. Now we have a... a circle brick of bricks and then we can an add an animation that way so let's see what we can do here so say we this is our starting mask we'll do click the stopwatch go forward we'll edit this mask by clicking on if you click off of the layer and then you click the layer bar down here in the timeline you can edit these individual points so we can make this ball maybe stretch. And then I'm going to go forward a little bit and copy and paste this first keyframe to make it go back into our ball shape. So that's you know just an animation showing you the different options for animating masks. I mean, eventually you can you know turn the circle into a square or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot in this lesson. Uh, next time we're going to be talking a little bit more advanced about mask animations, and I'm going to dig deeper into this topic. So get ready for that, and until next time, have a great day.